Hello everyone. I'm going to talk about how to use list filters um, and just filters in general uh, in the glyphs file. I've been getting a lot of questions today about how um, we can add new glyphs to like a default font uh, file in glyphs, which we can see um, it just doesn't offer much beyond like the basic like period, uh, comma, and hyphen in the way of um, punctuation. And the uh, proofs that I'm giving you require things such as like question marks or um, left and right quotation marks. So what we want to do is, um, let's say like you have like this like font file that you already have with some glyphs in it, for instance. Um, and I will send you a Dropbox link that contains these two files, which is the ASCII font file and the list of required characters in a text file format. So um, the first thing you can do is just open up this ASCII font file, uh, which already has all the empty spaces for the glyphs that you need to fill out. Um, you can you can just uh, select these, um, Command C, and then Command V. Um, that will create uh, them as well. If you want to uh, figure out the fancy, uh, the fancy, dan the fancy dancy, um, whatever <laughs> list filter, uh, you can use this text file. So I'm sending you this text file over here that just has like a bunch of different characters, uh, character names in it. So you just want to copy that, Command C, Command V. Oh, sorry, not Command V yet. Um, here we can see that we can add a list filter. So add this list filter, and we'll just name it. Um, uh, type design class care set and then here like I'll paste it in I'm in dark mode so maybe you can't see it but here we have all the uh, the characters in there and then I'll just press ok um, and then you'll see that like it's um, it sort of gets sorted differently but let's not mind that for now uh, what we do want to pay attention to is like this list filter that was created where it says type design class um, character set that we made and it'll tell us that um, now there is 73 out of 98, meaning that this uh, file has 73 characters out of the 98 characters that we gave it in its list filter. And we can right click on it and we can see that um, these are the missing glyphs. And uh, we can select them or we can add them one by one. Um, I'm just gonna shift and then select them. Shift click, shift click. Uh, and then if I generate them, it'll just automatically add all of these uh, characters in. And so that is how you add uh, the quote double um, uh, and, you know, quote single or a lot of these characters that you might not know, like how to add. Um, and I got another question about how to add the quote uh, left and right. So um, there's another way to do this. So I'm just going to go in uh, here uh, just to... Um, uh, we can see that like there is like a quote double left and a quote double right. Uh, and uh, what we can do is that like from here, oh, sorry, I just want to make um, sure that uh, the quote, the quote double left and quote double right. Um, I didn't, I'm just going to take a screenshot of this so I don't lose it. Um, and here's my little screenshot. And how we add characters is that we go in glyph up here, um, add glyphs. And then here we can type in uh, these these things. So we can do like quote the uh, dbl dbl left, um, and then I just click generate, and then we have like the quote double left right here. Uh, you can just also um, I, I believe option uh, return to put in multiple things. So you can do like quote dbl dbl right um, quote left quote right uh, and then so if we click generate um, it generates all these glyphs for us right here and this is how you can add a lot of other things as well um, so like I know we don't have like an ASCII tilde but like if you wanted to add things like you would just be yeah you would just add them this way um, another useful thing that you might want to know is like here in languages like it just gives you a preset list so these are all lists that Glyphs has automatically set for you. Um, so maybe we'll just go and add uh, music um, characters. Like if we right click, we'll see like, oh, there's all these like musical notes that you can add. So here, maybe I want to, um, you know, generate them if I want to make music notes. Um, another way that you can get around this is that you can probably uh, go into uh, these like drop down menus. So you'll notice that like in letter, 
like a number, um, it'll give you these like preset lists. So perhaps like if you want like uh, more currency symbols um, because you're designing it for a certain region, you can just right click it and see like, okay, like I, uh, which one do I want? Maybe I'll add the cent in and, and then I can generate that. Um, you can, if you want, you can also add arrows as well. So um, add all the, all, add all the, the, um, the glyphs you want this way. Um, glyphs just gives you these little um, uh, convenient preset glyphs. Uh, and while I have you here, I'll also show you how to delete them. So we can select them, um, go to glyph, uh, remove glyph, and then that will delete them. And I'll say like, oh, are you sure you want to remove them? And I'll say yes. Uh, and let's talk about alternate glyphs that a lot of you are dealing with. Um, perhaps you have a G that um, you really want to use again. Um, and this might be your review. I forget if we did this during class uh, while we still had class in person. Um, we can also add glyphs that are like, let's say like I want an alternative G. I can do like uh, G.SSO2, for instance. Now, Lynn, like, why did you do G.SSO2? What does that even mean? Um, <clears throat> if you go in um, font information or command I, we can see that in features, uh, there's all these features. So I'm just going to update it automatically. And so glyphs will give us like this like preset feature. This is like a really good thing about glyphs. You don't have to um, sit there and code all of these things yourself. And you can see that just because that there is a glyph that we named SSO2, it says, okay, that there is a stylistic set number two. And it says um, sub G by G.SSO2 uh, when this thing is enabled. And it says like generate feature automatically. Um, how do I demonstrate this? <laughs> um, I'll, so here, um, this is just going to be like a very silly demo uh, where, uh, okay, like, okay, so I'll, I'll do it with a capital G actually. Um, so add glyphs, uh, g.sso2. Um, so here's my regular G and here's like my sso2G and maybe like my like alternate G's like super, super long looking or something. Um, and then I'll just have like 30 and then I'll have like, maybe I'll have an R and I'll have a um, alternative like r.sso2 and then like this r is also uh, like super wide. Um, sorry for the crappy design over here but we'll have to suffice. Okay so command i we're going in there uh, we're going to update this because I just added some things in there update so it just updated you can see over here uh, and then so uh, how we use this is that uh, let's say like um, I'm going to say generate and there's no feature that is enabled right now. Uh, the features tab is on the lower uh, corner here, like the lower, lower left corner, we can see features and it'll have like default and then it will say stylistic set two now because now we have set um, a stylistic set. So here I can click on that uh, and I'll zoom out so you can see the difference. So we'll say like, okay, like use stylistic set two. And then like, look at this, it just automatically swapped out G to be G S S O two. Um, and then like, I'll do like, okay, like unclick that and I'll go back to this. Now, this is the same way that you can add in, um, ligatures as well. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you do like F underscore F, um, it'll create a FF ligature. Uh, sorry. Like now, like it, it's, it's empty right now. Um, this is not kosher, but I am just going to, uh, make an F like this and I'll just, I'll just have this like connecting just so it's like different from like a regular F. Um, okay. So we have like an F F ligature. Um, just gonna delete these things. Okay. So we have an FF ligature as well. So now if you go and update, we'll have, uh, magically the standard ligatures and it says, uh, sub f f by f underscore f so that underscore is like this like um, general way that glyphs recognizes um, ligatures so like if you want to make an ffi ligature you might make it like f underscore f underscore i fl would be like f underscore l um, here uh, and so forth so like you can generate those and then uh, now let's say like um, uh, FIFO, um, I'll just like, I'll just type that. So this is right now two separate F's and I'll just space them like a little bit further so you can see. And then when we enable um, standard ligatures, 
uh, oh, it should have applied. Um, oh, sorry, this is like uppercase. I need to, um, yeah. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Uh, this is my problem for doing a hasty demo. So here we can see like there is um, uh, uh, there's like two F's over here. Um, okay, so there's an F F. Uh, sorry, there's nothing in there right now, uh, but there will be in a second. So like if we go to features, standard ligatures. If you click that on, it'll swap to the FF. Um, and sorry for that confusion. I just put that in, um, put the capital looking F in the lowercase F um, glyph space. Yeah. So um, this is just how the general features work. So if there's anything that you want to add, um, you can just like sort of like um, add it the way that glyphs wants you to. And another good way for us to look at this is uh, go to the glyphs app website and we can see in tutorials um sorry uh let's say like uh open type uh, the glyphs tutorials is actually a really great part by the way and it says features part one simple substitutions so here is like a very well um, documented tutorial where it'll say like uh, this is how you make a ligature and this is how you um make uh, advanced contextual alternates, contextual alternates, positional alternates, and so forth. Um, so this is a really good place to go look if you want to find out more about this. Great. Um, good luck. And let me know if you need any more tutorials coming your way.